Now, one of the interesting things is I could release a vassal over here. All right, we're going to keep spending, paying off Ming for now, but... Um, because these guys have this old core, Kutai, I could declare war, take the territory, but instead of uh, coring it, I could convert it into a vassal. I could, like, take it all, release a vassal. Um, that way I wouldn't have to core it. But, the problem is, I have too many vassals to annex anyway. Like, my, my other vassals, the daimyos, don't take up relationship slots, but it's still a big pain in the ass, so I don't think it's reasonable. I think we're just going to want to annex it directly and immediately. Probably. <gasps> I died! I died! Okay, many pop-ups. New queen... Oh, my heir is going to be great, which probably means he's going to die soon. So I am playing as the amazing 623, the new Shogun. He's 61 years old. I have... Okay, I think I got confused as to some of these pop-ups. I have a weak heir. Wait. No, that's right. Because my other one was, yeah. He was like 31 when he almost died and I didn't send for the Medicus. So he's going to die soon. Get replaced by a 144. Again, I never complain if you have at least 6 points worth of points. Because he's not bad, at least. When you get to 9, that's actually um, statistically average, I believe. Um, and, and quite good. It would be nice to have more admin, but this is fine. We actually could use more Diplo. And his father, our current king, while he won't last that long, because he's already 61, he will give us more admin in the short term, and then we'll switch over to someone who doesn't. That's okay. Um, all right. To everlasting friendship. I think we're okay. The double air bug is back. Oh, is that what happened? Okay. Okay. province is finishing. We do have enough money to maybe build something, but we're not going to quite yet. Estate-wise, yeah, we're not doing any of those. Although when this thing that seems coring, we might go and start producing states. I keep saying estates when I mean everything other than estates. Alright, I don't want to lose admin power, and I don't want to tank the merchant guilds anymore. The Bushi can afford to lose a little bit. Um, and legitimacy, yeah, who cares. Any buttons? No buttons. Okay. You guys are improving relations with various vassals. You guys are sitting over here being attritioned. I should probably just start the war now. Is there a reason not to? I don't think so. Um. What, by the way, what's my mission? Literally no mission. Not even reduce overextension? Really? That's weird. Is there a reason I shouldn't just declare war right now? I think we do it. The plus three stability, by the way, is awesome for us. Obviously, we're going to want to wait until those cores finish. Oh, and they do have allies. They've got Sulu. Oh, my. Which is an island over here. Okay. And they've got Makassar. Which is a tiny little group over here. So nothing intimidating. We should take a look at navies, though, just in case. Brunei, do you have a sick navy? You have one heavy, but no, you don't really have much. Um, I think we're going to take all of our lights. And we are going to bring them over here. <laughs> Quill Vault. Desu Vault. Yeah, no, let's just go. Alright, so what I'm going to do is, like, reset both of these. They're not part of the transportation group anymore, so now they can actually move forward into this fort. Um, we're not going to need that many people. Let's just go ahead and make a little bit of a siege group. Something like that to go over there. Uh, we will give you the leader. So if you get attacked... Actually, what I should do is keep the leader back here. And the reason is, I might be able to bait them into attacking the leaderless group and then go and reinforce quite quickly. Obviously, we'd be the attacker in the jungle, but that would be perfectly fine. Um, the rest of our dudes who were sitting around... Okay, you're still on a boat. You're still being brought over. That's good. So that's good. Maintenance, yada, yada, yada. What do you think of Terraria? Oh, I think it's fine. I played it a little bit. Odd to get asked about games that have been out for such a long time. I'm not going to spend our money yet. Oh! Oh, I can't do it anymore! Oh! Uh, we can't do free war taxes. It would cost us 50 military power now, so we're not going to do that. We haven't even looked at what the possible buttons are for the, um... The Reformation. We're going to wait until we can spend money. I should look who's got a bonus. So right now, Spain 
um, has the ability to take 30% less shock damage. That's cool. Uh, the Mughals can take 50% cheaper artillery. The uh, Commonwealth or Poland can take 33% more goods produced. That's quite nice. And Persia could take 30% reduced reinforced costs. Well, isn't that swell? Yeah, we had, a, we had a straw poll. So I was planning on uniting Japan once the Age of Discovery was finished. We had a straw poll, and it was decided pretty overwhelmingly that we would not use this Unite button, uh, which causes us to become Japan, but break apart from all the daimyos. Instead, people want us to wait until we've actually um, diplo-annexed everyone, and then we hit this button, which will give us bonus points. It'll take longer, but will give us bonus points. Desires of the Flesh. Oh, my queen's having an affair! Well, first of all, I'm 61. My queen is 25. What am I going to do? Criticize her for that? I don't think so. Come on. Um, we allow them to continue. Loosen prestige. Cannot continue, so we buy someone off for 100. Um, we could execute the treasurer. Or cannot have an adulteress for a queen. A new consort appears. 515. Angered nobles. You know what? It's fine. Just, just keep it quiet. It's fine. 61 goddamn years old and she's 25. Give me a break. Oh, our diplomat died. Uh, we might want to get... We have enough money. We could afford... Not by much, but we could afford a half price level 2 advisor. So maybe we should investigate one of those. This would be... Uh, this would be a half price level 3. Right. These are level 3 advisors. I think that would be too expensive. So we'll just get a level 1, that's going to be okay. Hey, this one's got Diplo Rep, that's going to be handy for us. We don't need the morale of the navies. Improved relations would be nice, but I'm not spending 5 gold per month on them. Boop. I forgot, it's the events tend to give you the level, the half-price level 2s. The ones from the estates give you the half-price level 3s, which is much better later on. Waving the white flag. Two tribes, one from the Blackfoot and one from a neighboring country, are rivals. Something our conquistador didn't realize until too late. They both demanded tribute from the expedition to allow them passage. By offering one native chief gifts first, our conquistador insulted and angered the other chief. The gifts offered were not to the chief's satisfactory, and some warriors tried to take the expedition's provisions. The conquistadors took a firm stand and presented arms. His second-in-command brandished his sword and threatened violence. The chiefs backed down, and better gifts were presented to them both. We could try to make them bury the hatchet, which has a 50-50 chance of getting them to like each other. Or 50-50 chance of one of them hating me. Or good work. Take I don't care if they like each other. What? But seriously, what do I care? Here, give me 10 Diplo Power. 10 Diplo Power is worth more than peace between two warring tribes. At least in my mind. I'm going to go and move some ships over here. These transports are slightly exposed potentially to some nonsense. Plus we can do some more blockading. Mm -hmm. Diplomats arrived. Excellent. Quill remember to update? I don't know what you mean. Oh, uh, League of Legends? Yeah. Made sure, 100% sure it ran completely all the way through. Completely done this morning. Well, I did it yesterday, and I also started up again this morning to make sure. Watch there be another patch while I'm streaming. That's happened before. It's happened before with all kinds of games. Oh, there we go. My buddies are going to land over here. Excellent. Always nice to have a few friends. That's the thing, my vassals are quite loyal. And our relationship improves a lot while we're in a war together, plus 25. That's some idle diplomats. That's fine. One idle diplomat. Well, maybe two now, because they're supposed to suck up to vassals, and there might not be anyone to suck up to right now. I'm going to keep up the spy network, because it does help you with your siege timers. Let's go up to speed four. Um, can I have it? I probably have more cannons here. Indeed, I do. I don't know if we need them to get the next uh, bonus, but let's just give it a go anyway. I could use my transports to skip some of this stuff, but... Oh, Ming. One day I'm going to have your number, buddy. Yay, course. Oh, my king died! That's alright. Da, da, da. So we're down to plus two stability. Um, so my queen is the region. So, lots of admin, which is nice. What does she have? Naive enthusiast, penalty to relationships. That's okay. Our heir is going to take over in just just about three years here. So, we're we're still good. We'll still be able to do whatever the heck we want. Um, okay, I can't reach there because of this fort. Okay, so we're going to do that. I'm going to split you in half, park you there adjacent to the fort so you can reinforce. 
and then you are going to go there, there, and there. Kutai is the actual war goal. Mm -hmm. uh, what's their military tech? Seven. I've got nine. That's actually pretty substantial. False as diamonds of Sotao. Oh. Our explorer sent us gems he claims to have found. White and glittering, he believes them to be diamonds, but our learned scholars tell us that they are common quartz instead. Far from a source of wealth, they've become a source of ridicule. Lose five prestige. Where's those seven cities of gold? All right. Occupation, good. Scooch up. Excellent. I'm just going to get everyone in position over here. And I'm not as concerned about... Is this... No, that's the wasteland territory over here, right? Can't enter that. No, no. Harold from Ming. Mm-hmm. Military power. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't have anyone defending over here. I should probably... Four is enough, but let's send five guys over there. I should also have my ships... Oh, so I already got someone blockading. That's good. Oh, that's our conquistadors being attacked. That's fine. Keep looking around. I'm sure you'll find it one day, buddy. It's been ages. I have some money. I could start another temple now. I think I will. Cores. Good. You're there. Oh! Oh, you guys took a boat and landed on some units? What are you doing? How can... Okay. And the AI is going to get to cheat. Because notice that it can go to Brunei, but I can't. That That's the AI movement rules for you. I cannot walk there. But the AI can. Because regions. Regions? Reasons. That's okay. They won, so that's fine. I guess they didn't need to take a boat. Oh, our separatists finally popped there. That's going to be slightly annoying. I suppose I could have done some increased autonomy stuff somewhere along the way, but that's fine. We'll just wait. They'll, they'll siege a few things. They'll get a little bit of uh, separatism. National epic. Core province, core province, core province, core province. Uh, what's the tech here? Mm, the, I mean, that is nice. That's just some more money. And we could get ahead of time, which is good. But I'm going to save my admin right now for some coring first. And listen, buddy, I can't help you out here, so... I should probably start moving these guys back. We don't have that many boats, so it'll take a while. I can actually build some troops over there, too. Because I'm nowhere close to my force limit. I don't have a ton of money. Okay, we won. Our navy's under attack there. It's not really a thing. Um... Okay, I can go to Cushing, so I'm going to do that for the siege. Didn't I have four cannons? Where's my extra cannon? Oh, I don't think I had the money actually to buy the last cannon now that I think about it. Uh, we are going to spend 25 Diplo Power for a boost to mercantilism, because normally it's quite a bit more expensive than that. All right, smashing some random dudes along the way. Actually, we can go and pop you off over there so that nothing can go and reinforce. All right, so we just got to wait for that to finish. Let me move these ships over here to make sure we got a full blockade. We're still babysitting that over there. That's all good and fine. Okay, they've started an actual fortress over there. Drunken whiskey thieves. Gain. Oh, we got our choice of power. Um, probably we have to go Diplo, because, again, we want to, we really want to get that free colonist as quickly as possible. So, they did not deserve a flogging. I don't know. But Whiskey. Tribute. Separatism. Okay, the Separatism over there is going to be annoying that we're getting so much, but that's the way it's going to be. Maybe I'll put you back over there. Oh, we have a mission. Colonize Barito. Mmm, burrito. Where is... I like burrito. Especially breakfast burritos. Oh, it's right over there. That might work out. You want to peace out, but no. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, yeah, we're going to have to re and revise some of these colonization rights. Uh, that's military, no. Well, actually, we're so far ahead of time on military, then yes, we can grab this idea. Also gets us closer to this yearly prestige, which we are going to change once we become Japan anyway, but we'll take the regiment cost discount. That's fine. And we need to make sure military support. That's only 50. We don't need another general of this. Although, is it possible that our current general is quite old? I'm sure, there's a way to find out how old he is. Because what I would like to do is raise the influence of the Bushi uh, to above 50. So that I can get more points from demand military support. I'm wondering about just hitting the recruit minister button. Just for the influence and not actually hire the guy. But it would be better if the other guy were about to die. I suppose I can always fire whoever is worse. Maybe I'll do that. It hurts the manpower recovery, but it's going to be fine. Um, I don't think we have to rush this, especially since it does give them a bunch more influence. We want the New World Charters over here. This is... Okay, that's a little scary, because it will increase their influence to 68, but that's not the danger zone, and we want the Global Settler increase. It does suck that they have such like poor um, loyalty while we're doing any of this, though. So we have too many leaders. Uh, this new guy is awesome! Holy crap! First of all, we need to make sure that he's actually sieging over there. I don't think we can change leaders while they're at sea. No, so we'll wait. Takeda's embraced colonialism. We still have not embraced colonialism, actually. And we've got the 5% tech penalty that I keep forgetting about, because I actually find it quite hard to see the red on red over here. You, double siege pip, go. It's funny, because it's like spreading out from us. But other people have embraced it before we have. But they're they're tiny nations. That's one thing we should save up money for. Wow, cheaper infantry. Temples, you're being attacked over there, but probably not really. They do have that heavy. Alright. Well, what we have here... Is we do have the ability to get cheaper dudes. Uh, this is mountains. We'd be the defender here. Um, you know what? I think we can just attack this guy right now. And that's going to be fine. And then the other guys are small enough. And my actual... Oh, Ming's actually helping me with this stuff. Thanks, Ming. Immoral prices. <sighs> I really don't want to give the Merchant Guild more influence, because that'll bring up up to 78. But I would like them to have loyalty. I don't think I want the Peasant Uprising. I think I'm going to have to hit this. It will tank their loyalty like crazy. But we're just going to have to deal with that right now. Siege of Cushing is done. Okay, so we don't have 100% because they've got some allies in this. But I'm not going to bother dealing with the allies. Because um, I don't think we could eat all of them in one go anyway. So we're going to grab as much of the coast as possible. Ooh, coalition? But who? Brunei and Sulu. Okay, I don't care. Okay, we can't go that far. I might want to grab this one. Oh, the Ming. I mean, again, they're my overlord, so probably not. But it's okay. We can just, you know, shorter truce timer. That's fine. Meanwhile, we'll get some more reparations. That's going to be okay. Uh, do we want to end their relationship, their alliances with other people? I don't know if it really matters. You know what? I want you to end your relationship with Sulu because we might actually go with them. Gives me one whole prestige too. There. Don't forget the force religion. Um, we can't. Done the list. Whoop! 
And I'm pretty sure it's in this category. It won't be any of the others. So there's no forced religion. Yeah, I know, one whole prestige. It's awesome. It's worth worth it. Uh, so yeah, we'll do this. So we're going to take a bunch of coastal provinces. Uh, we're going to take some money and we'll end things with Sulu over here, which might give us some interesting options down the road. We will core the crap out of all this. That's going to be okay. We have a lot of our extension. Um, I think this might be a good time for us to start considering doing autonomy tricks here, just to make things a little bit more manageable in more of these places. Honestly, I think... Why do you have so much unrest? Is it all overextension? Well, there's culture and religious differences here, too. Intolerance, culture, yeah. I think it's probably well worth doing this for now. So we don't have to deal with any bullshit. This will this'll burn away. It's going to be fine. Okay. Um, you are going to run over here so that we can defend our newly acquired territory. We've got some people who want to marry me now, um, including Auchi. Oh, right, because we were at war. Oh, yeah. And we died, so it broke all of our, um, all of our royal marriages. So, I don't remember where ouchie... Okay, so, fine. Ouchie. I know that's not how it's pronounced. And how much do you like me? Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna say yes. And who's... Isiki is over here? You like me a fair bit. I will say yes to you as well. That's fine. And then what I want to do is... So, you've got that. Amago, you're pretty close. We're going to... Ask if you'd like to marry me. Okay, yeah, you cleared that up. That's being DC. Oh, no, we still need to go up over here. That would be attacking into the mountains. Superior number, superior... Our text should be okay. I don't know. Let's do this, wait for some reinforcements, and then we'll go in. Um, let me come back to you guys. Diplomats are available. Yes, good. We want... Amago. And Tomo. And what we'd like to do is bank as much Diplo power as we can and try to, like, simultaneously do multiple people. That way it'll... I mean, ultimately it still tanks the relationship with everyone else the same way, but... Stupid separatism. Alright, yeah, we can just chill. You're going to be here, get ready for some rebel busting. You're going to stand there. I mean, I suppose I could go stand on top of that too, but that'll be fine. Rise of a pretender. Oh, when I rose to the throne, a pretender has risen up at the same time. Not very much, but my troops are all over the place, and this is going to be kind of annoying. Because I have no one here. You guys are going to boat to there. We got a couple of months before that button has to be hit. So we'll get some troops in there in time. Ooh, my Shogun is malevolent, which is going to lead to more Liberty Desire. I don't think it's actually going to be a problem, but it is kind of annoying. Do, 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 do. The women among us. While replenishing our supplies in Manden, a young pregnant woman and her husband, a well-known trapper, applied for the positions of interpreter and guide in our expedition. The woman speaks several languages, while her husband is a good hunter with great knowledge of the continent. We could hire them for 94 ducats and 50 admin, but we would get 20 years of Sacagawea, giving us 5% more morale of armies and 5% reinforcement speed. Or we could say no and just gain 5 prestige. That's a lot of money and the admin. 5% morale of armies is good, though. You know what? And the 50 admin. Ugh. Sure, let's just do it. It's fine. Not convinced it was worth it, but it's a cool story, bro. Alright, so we're just waiting for some troops to actually get delivered over here. There's one we built. Alright, we've cleared that up. 
Just gotta wait for my transports. Hopefully they'll get there in time and we're just gonna lose 1k stack to nothing. Whoops! Looks like we're gonna lose 1k stack to nothing. 